This episode of Get It is brought to you by the Flip Flops. They flip and they flop if and when available. It's been over a hundred years since Einstein designed his theory of general relativity, a theory that has yet to be proven wrong. So let me ask, what is so special about it? Not special, general, general. This theory was a revolution. Time to get wise. <laughs> The year is 1907, and Einstein works in the patent office in Switzerland, and he has a problem with gravitation. Newton's law of universal gravitation is over 200 years old then, and, well, let's say most people are quite happy about it. But uh-uh, not Albert. He's not happy about it, because he sees a problem, a huge problem. According to Newton, gravitation is a force that's applied instantaneously between massive objects. That's to say, for example, the Sun constantly attracts the Earth, obviously, but it also instantaneously attracts the Earth. How is it a problem? Glad you asked. Well, imagine that the Sun suddenly disappears. According to Newton, it should stop attracting the Earth the instant it disappears. But wait, there's over 150 million kilometers between the Sun and the Earth. So wouldn't it break some unbreakable rule somehow? If the attraction stops at the exact moment the Sun disappears, it means that information that the Sun has vanished reaches the Earth faster than light, while sunlight, on the other hand, would take about 8 minutes to fade out. That's not possible. Nothing, not even information, can travel through space faster than light. Okay, so, the year is 1907, Einstein is working as usual, when he suddenly has an idea. He's looking outside the window, and he sees a guy tiling the roof of a building. That makes him wonder. Yeah, because this situation spells epiphany. Yeah, literally. E-P-I-P-H. Any. If that guy fell off the roof, would he feel as he falls? He's on weight. No, he wouldn't. That's free falling 101, actually. And yeah, I know, nobody's troubled by Einstein picturing dying people. But hey, that's Einstein after all. Moreover, if the guy falls with a couple of tiles, he will see the tiles floating around him. Not falling. It's almost as if falling cancelled your weight. As if it cancelled gravitation. And that will lead Einstein to an incredible idea. Gravitation is not a force, but a property of space itself. Da -da! Take the Earth, for example, orbiting the Sun. The way the Earth is attracted by the Sun has nothing to do whatsoever with the mass of the Earth. Whoa. That is not the great idea. Newton already knew that. Dude. I know. This can easily be shown using mathematics, just the same way you can show that gravitation is equivalent to an acceleration. But I don't want to be using mathematics. So, the way the Earth is attracted to the Sun doesn't depend on the mass of the Earth. In other words, remove the Earth from its location in space and replace it with Miley Cyrus. What you get is Miley Cyrus orbiting the Sun the exact same way the Earth used to. I came in like a wreck. Because you wreck me. But wait! If the gravitational acceleration doesn't depend on the mass of the attractee, what does it depend upon? Only on the mass of the attractor and the distance between, well, the attractor and the attractee. Wait, but doesn't it mean... Exactly, it means... Stop, you don't know what I was about to say. You are to talk about gravitational field, right? No. If you imagine space with nothing in it, no mass and no gravitation whatsoever, if you place something within that space, an object with a mass, for example, a star, you can calculate for every point in that space the attraction that the star would apply to any other massive object. <clears throat> That's like a field of gravitation. And if it can be defined for any given point in that space, it means that gravitation is not a force. It's a property of space as soon as a star is placed in it. And that's what Einstein thought about. This is the foundation of general relativity. This is why Einstein is a genius. So tell me now. You get it? Einstein once met a worker who had survived falling off a roof, and he asked him if he could feel his weight while he was falling. And the guy said, well, sir, I was just scared to death. 